your family photos, home movies, a little girl's dress, mom's favorite recipe. Are they cluttering a closet or buried in the basement? There's something that we all have, we all want to preserve and be able to enjoy. Get them out. memory lane together today. Before video cameras, home movies were all silent films, jerky, faded images of men and women, often wearing hats and goofy smiles. They don't get out much anymore. Who has a projector and screen? These are documents of times that have gone by and lives that we live. They were different from us, but at the same time, not too much has changed. Too much has changed, and maybe not too much, and maybe everything. I mean, think about that. Home movies of perfect strangers that drew a crowd and some applause. It's not art, but it's priceless, particularly when it's your family. The small woods of West Virginia had neglected a trove of 8-millimeter home movies. They took them to Dan Smith, who runs Artistic Memories, a video production company in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, a trove, that's a lot. Uh, how many films did the family have? They had 56 individual films, and they're little three-inch reels of film that go through the camera. So you had to take the film and take three minutes, send it off to be developed, and then you, a week or two later, you got to find out what you took and whether you left the lens cap on I and all that. I would kill to have 56 of those. Uh, we did not have an 8-millimeter film camera in our family, though friends did, and I once saw tiny picture of, of myself as a baby, uh, one of those just fleeting images on my mother's lap. I, I never saw it since. I hope somebody someday will find it and it'll come back to me. Those things, it just takes your breath away when you see something you didn't know you had. The family, the Smallwoods, um, probably didn't watch those uh, 56 movies very often, did they? Well, the grandkids never did see them, typically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the growing up, they would dig out the projector and they would show it. But typically, the grandkids have never seen it. And for us, probably about half the time, it's the, the parent generation who are having us do the conversion. And half the time, it's the, the kids. Out of that, probably half of those is just one particular kid getting it for everybody. Yes. But it's a very good, uh, it's a very good thing to give to, to their parents. You know, what do the kids give their parents who have everything? And you can get these things converted. Sometimes they know about it, sometimes they don't. When you say converted, that's okay. your business. Yes. We take it and take the film and put it on a computer, digitize it, put it on a computer, and then put it on a DVD. DVD for the family. All so right, at that so point you can have DVDs and each of the each of the kids can have their own. So Dan's company transferred all of those uh, eight millimeter films to DVD and then the Smallwood clan gathered to watch them on TV. I know it's been at least 15 years or maybe a little less or a little more since we have seen these movies. That's There's Jeffrey on her lap. Look at the road. <laughs> it was real exciting to see the movies, uh, especially some of the relatives that are dead and the ones that have Alzheimer's and don't know us anymore, and it was real exciting to see them. And to see how my children look like the grandchildren, which ones look like uh, the mothers or the fathers. 
It, it really is like discovering buried treasure when you find those. What does it cost? It's actually a lot less than it costs to buy the film and get it developed to begin with. It's, um, we charge $8 per, for the little reel. A lot of people will have, will have spliced them together and have the bigger reels and then it's cheaper. But, um, you know, it's typically in the 100, 200 range. Like I say, at that point, everybody now with them up in the attic or down in the basement, it's like, that's the negative. That is the film. And once it's converted, there are multiple copies in multiple households, and it stands a whole lot better okay, chance Okay, give me that idea, because I think the whole point surviving. of this program today is, is to remind people of what they have stored away, how they can convert it to modern use, and multiply copies of it and send it to all the relatives, all the cousins, all the grandchildren, because you can make a DVD in copy after copy after copy. Right. And it's all digital, uh, so even 20 years from now, if there's a new format, you just take the bits from the DVD and change them over, but it, it will last forever yeah. at that point. I was, yeah, you just t change the bits and it'll be, it's just nothing to it. It all works. Nothing, nothing to it. Um, let us take a look at a brief excerpt of a final product because Dan gave the small woods uh, a little extra dimension by adding an audio track. Look at Daddy in his white suit, huh? <laughs> What's going on? That's Easter. That's Easter, oh. yeah. Uh, Why is she she's she's dancing around the cage. Let me in, let me in. That's <laughs> not like you. <laughs> That idea a friend of mine uh, had that I just pass it along if you didn't already uh, think of it is as you gather for the holidays and you play uh, either the film itself that you haven't seen in the projector or on a DVD and then record the family watching it. And then that's the soundtrack that you lay with, with the, the, the movies. And you'll tell people for years that Jane Pauley had that idea. <laughs> they'll say, who's Jane Pauley? No, never mind. Well, I never knew anybody who did it before, but I encourage people to do it all the time. Because, like I say, the, the next generation of kids haven't seen the film ever. And it makes a really big difference if that's mom when she was six, or if that's the neighbor kid that nobody ever sees again. And what I like to do is have people watch it and identify the people as they come in and a lot of people just flit into the movies for five seconds and then they're out again but it might be the special Aunt Mary who flew in from California that's right <laughs> all right thank you next uh, do-it-yourself family history <laughs>